As the Canadian men's hockey team gears up for their first game of these Olympics against Team Norway, Doug Mike Babcock finally announcing it'll be Carey Price who gets the start in net. He'll be making his Olympic debut. Now, does this mean Price is the number one goalie? I, I don't think so, but it's looking that way. I, I mean, look, I would have thought Luongo would have started game one because of Vancouver, the gold medal. But he, look, Price has been the better goaltender down the stretch. He's been the hot end, NHL Player of the Week going into the Olympics. In all fairness to Luongo, his team's not been very good in front of him. But this gives the edge. So now he plays Norway. That's a win. Luongo plays Austria. That's a win. If either of these two guys lose to these two teams, they may have to bring Smith uh, out of mothballs for this one. But look, it's going to be Price. I really believe it. I think one and one, and then Price will start against Finland as long as nothing dramatic happens. Yeah, the writing's on the wall. Carey Price comes now into this tournament as the number one goalie. I don't think for one second uh, you, you play Luongo in the second game and then go back to back uh, against Flin Finland on Sunday. No, Luongo will be in the same place he was in 2010 and it's Carey Price's job to lose from here on in. Is Luongo going to be the mop-up man four years later? It sure shaped up that way to start this tournament. Well, Nick, we know it's how you finish that matters most, and that's a good thing when you look at Team Canada and how they've started their first games at the last four Olympic Games. Not too impressive. No, and we talked to Chris Prong on Hockey Central at noon. He talked about 2006 where they never got it going, but they're notoriously slow starters. Look at Belarus to start uh, the NHL's uh, uh, position of uh, being in the Olympics where they're only up 2 nothing against this team. Forget the Sweden game where they lost in uh, Salt Lake City. Italy was a complete write-off and even Norway. They were 0-0 after 20 minutes and you could hear all of Canada panicking. But let's make no mistake about it. Uh, they will eventually feel like they're going to come together. It just may not be as soon as uh, Canadians want. But uh, like you said, when it's all said and done, Simmer, I think they'll be there. Well, let's look at the defensive pairings for Team Canada. And, Doug, it's looking like P.K. Subban will be the odd man out. He's only the reigning Norris Trophy winner. Well, what do you make of this? Yeah, season? it really is interesting. But, look, this is a solid top six. And Vlasic, the defensive guy with Drew Doughty, has essentially beaten him out of the top six. But let's not forget, they could dress 20 skaters in this Olympics. So that means probably 13 forward, seven defensemen. P.K. will draw in as the number seven guy, and he will be spotted in. Look, I think this this back end is going to need offense. I think this team is going to need offense from this group. I think it'll be critical to their success. And their best guy is P.K. Subban. Let's not forget, the blue line is eight feet closer to the net in the Olympics than it is. I think they'll need P.K. before this is over. They can't just take him off the bench and expect big production. Well, all eyes will be on Canada versus Norway as the road to gold begins.